since it has been my birthday month this month, I have been utilizing some of the rewards that you get through brands like Elf or Ulta to get double points or free gift. So I've been waiting to do some of my purchases for makeup this month just to get as much as I can for the best price. I also had a $25 gift card that I got on Christmas for Ulta, so I used that as well. And I wanted to show you guys everything that I got by using on my face. All I have right now is just some eye primer. But the first thing I want to talk about is something that I actually got as my free birthday gift. So I didn't have to pay anything for it, which is nice. It's just this e.l.f. bite size eyeshadow quad in the shade cream and sugar. I don't know how I would have bought this on my own, but it was free, so sure, why not? I do like this pale shade and this dark shade specifically, and I can see myself using this. The only one I wouldn't would be this kind of bronzy shade. That's just, I don't usually use mid-toned shimmery eyeshadows, and especially not that tone. I guess I can start with this shade. It's a little bit darker than my skin tone, but I think it'll still work to kind of just set my base and make it kind of an even tone. Actually, well, I guess because I have a bit of darkness on my eyes, it is a bit brighter, so it works pretty decently. I thought this would be a really good palette to bring for traveling, especially because I'm often traveling with how much I pet sit. Um, especially this summer, we are getting more and more booked by the minute. It's crazy. So I thought this would be the perfect palette that could do it all. You know, set my base, give my inner corner a little something shimmery, maybe my lid, and then something to deepen around the lash line. And that's really all I need these days. Um, or all I prefer. I haven't really been super into eyeshadow lately. Um, maybe I'll just use my finger for that light shadow. I've honestly only been wanting really simple things. I've mostly been into more of like an eyeliner kind of thing, just something around the lash line and then something light and bright on the inner corner that I might bring onto my lid a little bit, but nothing too dramatic or crazy or colorful really. Um, so it's been making me rethink my collection. Obviously, I don't want to like declutter literally everything that I have just because it doesn't fit my preferences at the moment. But there are some shades that I was already eyeing that are already not really my thing. And since I haven't been into eyeshadow as much, more reason to consider not keeping them. I'm going to go into the dark shade for this one. I could see myself going through, you know, at least these two shades for sure and hitting pan on this one at one point in time. You know, if I really keep this as my travel palette, but at the same time that means I'll be neglecting all the other eyeshadows I have, so I might just make my own mini travel palettes, but it really just depends on what I'm wanting to do. <laughs> I know during school I wear less makeup, so maybe in the summer I'll be more inspired to do some fun stuff with eyeshadow, I don't know. Um, but now I'm going into this, I technically, this isn't the one I bought this year. Um, I made a purchase earlier this year with just two e.l.f. items and I used some of my e.l.f. rewards points. This one is one I was already using. I bought a backup of this at the time, but it's the same product. It's just the hydrating camo concealer. That's what it is. And this one is good. It's a nice yellow tone to kind of cancel out any redness that I have and acne or spots or under the eyes or whatever. And it's a bit higher coverage than some other ones I've tried. Not the highest, but it looks more skin like that way. Um, but it is, I don't, I think because of the yellow tone, it's just like just a hair a bit dark, at least when I pair it with things like bronzer and blush and, you know, I pile all that on and then I kind of wish I had something a bit brighter to counteract those. Um, so for that reason, I did get another concealer from e.l.f. again actually, but their like clicky pen one, what is this? The Flawless Brightening Concealer. I got it in their lightest shade, which was like the cooler, like the pink toned fair shade. So I'm not sure how much I need to click for this. I've only used it once or twice. Um, so I guess I'll just use a tiny bit of that for brightening in there. I 
and then maybe I tend to get kind of like a dark area around my mouth here so I'll do that. This seems to be lighter coverage than the other e.l.f. concealer but I don't mind that it's just I mostly wanted it just for a bit of brightness and I thought this would be a really nice one for just like quick everyday looks where I just want a little bit of even skin tone, a little bit more brightness, but nothing too dramatic or crazy. And I bought this e.l.f. Halo Glow setting powder because Milani discontinued their Preps and Go powder, which was my favorite. <laughs> so I had to search elsewhere, and this is actually a really good dupe for that. And it's a pretty comparable price. It's $2 cheaper, but it also has slightly less product, so I'd say they're probably like the same. Um, I'm still learning how to use a loose powder and how to not lose a ton of product in the process. Forgot to blend right there. Um, but it's a really nice, like natural skin finish. So it, it doesn't mattify me, but it doesn't like add a ton of shine either. It's just kind of the in between, which doesn't make you look dry or greasy or anything like that. I'm just going into this Franken bronzer contour thing that I made. I'm not really panning it per se. I'm gonna wait until I like hit pan in it until I roll it into a project because you won't really see much progress. I fill this up a ton. It's not really something that's like number one priority. If I don't feel like wearing bronzer or whatever, I'm not gonna force myself to wear it or whatever. Some products that I just got, this Wet n Wild highlighter in the shade Blossom Glow because I'm running low on that pink shade in my project pan. So it's a bit shinier than I'm used to, but it's really hard to find highlighters that are one, light enough for me and in this nice tone, but also ones that are like a nice, oh gosh, that, that's a lot of highlighter. I put highlighter on first so that I can maybe tone it down with some blush. Oh gosh. I'm so used to like the naturalist highlighter for that one palette that no matter how much you put on, it's not going to be crazy. Uh, this one's a bit crazy, but now I have to make the sides the same. Um, the color does seem to be nice on me though. It's, it's a pale pink and it's not too dark on me. What I was really excited though was this Flower Beauty blush, the Flower Pots Powder Blush in the shade Sweet Pea. And it is this beautiful, cool toned pink. And, you know, I don't have a ton, ton of blushes, and I don't have any that are this cool. Um, so I was just missing that in my life. Wanted something that wasn't super warm, but was also light enough that I could just put it on without worrying. I love how compact and small this powder is. It's only six grams, which I feel like is the perfect amount for blush so that you're you're still getting a good amount. So it's not like, really, that's it? Um, but it's blush and so six grams is gonna last forever. So I thought this would be perfect just for traveling. I don't like bulky things, they annoy me. Um, I'm gonna use whatever is residual on this brush just add a little bit of depth. I'm not really mentioning the prices on all these products just because I, it's hard to say how much I paid for them because a lot of them I use like my elf points to get money off or I got it for free or I used an Ulta gift card. So it's also on a purchase where I also bought non-makeup items. So it's just really hard to say how much I spent, but also I'm not doing like, any specific low buy or makeup budget because I feel like I'm at the point where I don't need that to just be a reasonable spender. So I'm just kind of not thinking about it and I really haven't bought a ton. I bought two concealers, a powder, and the powder was a backup because I ran out of powder, um, two lip liners, a free eyeshadow palette, a blush, a highlight, and oh, two mascaras, but those are also backups. I bought two because it was buy one, get one 50% off at Walgreens, so 
it made more sense. And with how expensive the mascara is getting, I swear it's like a dollar more every time I go to check. I wanted to get some kind of deal on it. It's the CoverGirl Exhibitionist. I'm still using up the last bits of this. I think the one I'm using now, by the end of the month, I'll throw it out just because it's going to be like six months old and I can tell it's getting drier. Um, this is just the Elf Wow Brow. I took the stopper out. I don't even know how I'm still using it. It's empty, but it still is depositing stuff on my brows. So it works. I don't need a ton for my brows because they're pretty strong on their own. <laughs> Some other things that I bought, I mentioned earlier about lip liners. These are the NYX, what are they? Professional makeup lip pencil. Yeah, it's just their normal lip liners. I got the shades um, Peekaboo Neutral and Nude Pink. And I would say the colors of the base of these are not accurate. <laughs> um, let me swatch them. Peekaboo Neutral is not nearly as cool as you think it would from this it looks like it's gonna be like really cool and pinky okay now on the camera it looks pinky but on me it translates almost orange on my skin tone um which is fine because I wanted a warmer lip liner and a cooler one and then this one which is nude pink again warmer than I thought it would be but you can see it's a lot pinker and a little bit paler um so it still works out I I think I was hoping it for it to be a little bit cooler, but it's fine. I like how these are really stiff pencils because that means they're gonna last longer. <laughs> it's kind of weird having a lip liner after months of not having any. I think it's been like five, six months since I've had any. I've just been waiting for May to buy them. Um, but I like it because I can really help the application process. I'm gonna pair it with this ELF Hydrating Coral Lip Shine. I promise this isn't sponsored by ELF. <laughs> I just have a ton of ELF products. I've been really liking this color for spring. It looks like it's gonna be warmer, but it's actually a little bit cooler than the color of the tube, which is fine by me. But I'm pretty sure that is everything that I bought, so I'm just gonna pop on some mascara and then I'll be done. That is the entire look. As you can see, what I've been doing lately is not something super dramatic, but basically the only thing I haven't been doing much of is eyeshadow. It's just been this, especially when going to work and stuff like that. I'm not gonna usually do like a smoky eye or anything crazy or anything bright so but that is everything I bought I bought you know these two was the first purchase which was a month or two ago and then I bought this so then I could get a freebie with it and then I got two mascaras from Walgreens and then highlighter blush and two lip liners and that's all the makeup that I've bought so far and I probably won't buy a ton more other than just anything backup related um but I've been pretty happy with everything so far let me know if you have any thoughts on these products or if you have them yourself um if you have any recommendations on how to use them but thank you so much for watching I hope that you enjoyed and I hope that you have an amazing day bye